So anyway, here's the art. And uh, Samiyaki made uh, Pizza Tower art, which if you haven't seen, there's a demo available. I streamed it, and you can play it yourself. It's really good. It's like Wario Land. It's aw fucking awesome. But uh, this is cool. That's me as Pizza Man in Pizza Tower. Pizza Cake. Here's one from Rockabilly. Vine Caliber. I wield a guitar. I'm sure there's been a fighting game where some dude had a fucking guitar axe. And also Brutal Legend, Jack Black's character had the, the fucking guitar, right? My hand! From Susnick the Cuckold. Rest in piss, Wanguigi. Unbelievable. <laughs> the, between the name and the art. This one's from Halepto. And, uh, it's it vide dead. It's it says it's vide dead. I'm here to adopt and then abandon. This one is from Primal Screen Guy. It's me, but Vault Boy me. I got the bags under my eyes, which are worse in the winter. So, it's especially accurate. Oh yeah, I forgot there's Fallout tomorrow. Could do a little bit more Fallout as well, and uh, then do Red Dead. I, I, I will consider that. I will consider doing a little bit more Fallout. Not a full two-hour stream of it, but maybe checking it out again and you know talking a little bit more about it. I, um, it wouldn't be... I don't know how exciting it would be, but it would be more of like a... Um, sometimes... I'm not just playing a game because I I am enjoying it like forever. Sometimes I like to check out games and like be be your guide on this quest so that you know which games to not buy or to buy. I don't know if I can recommend Fallout 76 in its current state. But I'll consider it. Maybe I won't stream it tomorrow. Maybe I'll just stream it for the last day of the beta. Um, but I don't really, I don't know. Yeah, like an analytical kind of thing. I like to analyze games. Like I'm, I'm a fan of Fallout enough that I'm, I'm down to analyze the game, and um, you know, I, I might not end up putting a ton of hours into it. But as I did say, it is enjoyable and on a lot of levels. But what levels are those? Well, that's where you'd have to come to the. The information zone to find out from Alina D. Here's a watercolor vine shroom, and uh, it's it's good. I like the colors and everything. And as always, the planets are fun. But uh, good work, good work. And then here's one from Nanaki. And it is Incineroar. And Lucario is Ken and Ryu. That's a clever piece of art. Like I said, I'm not really into Incineroar. I know it's a popular character in Japan. I don't really have strong feelings about it one way or another. But um, I always like more characters. So... More variety is nice. From Kittenus. Here's a BRB. What is, what's happening with this vine shroom? What's wrong with it? Oh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, from Bastion, Little Ricky in Stranger Danger. Golly! Want to be my son? Here's an informational video of how to avoid strangers that say they wish to be your father. Nice art. Neo Geo made a BRB vine shroom pixel shroom. That'll be um, used. That'll come in handy. Thank you for that. Here in the information zone. This one's from SZ Pircha. Is that a vine turkey? Oh, we're starting early with the Thanksgiving. At least, it, at least I haven't gotten Christmas art yet.
last night I found a really cool guitar tone in uh, Amplitube, which is a, an amp emulator that uh, you can use in FL Studio and various other programs. I, I don't remember exactly the settings, but it was like preamp stuff, and it was it was great. It was like like surf drugs. Gotta find I gotta find those settings. I, I mean I have them. I have not lost them. But I ended up uh using the settings to create a surf drug song. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I just I was excited about it. This one's from Raven X. Bottom left corner. Oh there's a Luigi then down there with a unibrow. <laughs> um or it's this shadow. Raven X made this for Freedom Digesis, which is a game I streamed briefly. It was a um, very interesting game with a cool concept, but it wasn't a lot of fun for me to play. Adriana made this. Step, step. Ma, are you the new mayor? Yep, yeah. There you go. You know what's about to happen, right? Poor Scoot is about to get skinned. There you go. From nothing but sauce. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Why? Why? Why does this exist? It's just no. Just no. Here's one from Ch Chandler J333. Is that plumber punk that was giving you shit, little bro? Okay, I get this. Okay, because I was saying that the me fighter toad had longer legs. The, the me's are a little taller in, in Smash Ultimate. And so when they made the me toad, he was like bupping real hard. And he was he was extremely tall. Um, By the way, is it confirmed that there won't be custom movesets like in Smash 4? Just for the Miis? Um, I guess that's cool. No custom stage builder either? Damn, I had Asteroid Base. I was really enjoying S to Roid Base as a as a level. The good thing is that you can turn stage hazards off so that like fucking quadruples the amount of stages that I'll end up using. We don't know that. Oh, okay. I think they probably would have revealed it. I mean we 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 gotta look at the options menu. We know how to change the brightness in Smash Ultimate. You would think Sakurai would also tell us if there were there was a level editor in the game. But um, they fixed Palutena. They got reworked. Oh, that's good. She was a good character, but I, I yeah, it's a little rough, that one. Um, yeah, I, I'm cool with, with no stage builder if, if you can turn the stage hazards off. But it's still a nice feature. I liked it. Again, to get this many characters and stages in the game, I understand why certain features had to be cut. Also, if anyone could tweet me the link to that thing that Sakurai was doing while I was streaming that uh, details spirit mode more, I'd be very happy to watch that. So. The custom moves before the game came out, I thought were going to be um, amazing. <laughs> like before Smash 4 came out, I was like, oh shit, you can customize moves. Everyone's going to do that. It's going to be great. And then, like, we never used custom moves, like, ever. Everyone just defaulted back to the original characters because it was more fair that way. And, you know, spending the amount of time to customize a character just ended up being like kind of a nightmare. It was a nice experiment. It was a nice idea. And I'm kind of sad it's gone because I thought maybe there was potential for it. But with a game like this, and the way it can get really competitive, I understand why people wouldn't want to do custom rules or custom uh, moves. They were fun, but yeah, the balance was the issue, of course. And then you have to continue balancing forever. Sakurai would, would never sleep 
if they were tournament um, legal. Colonel, we managed to avoid drowning. Sorry, Colonel, we managed to avoid a dud is the name of the artist who made this. Just wanted you to uh, know that. Custom moves were never used because of how shitty it was to unlock them. Oh, I forgot you had to unlock them. You're right. I remember some characters, I never unlocked their moves. From Agus Megnon, here's, um... What is this face? You know the, um, Rocket to the Moon movie from, like, the fucking tens? From a hundred years ago? Kind of reminds me of the moon face in that. Yeah. Trip to the moon, of course. There you go. Here's one from Meester Wooga Booga. And some Red Dead landscapes. Very nice work here. Bob Ross, I think, would be very pleased with this one. Be very proud of you. Extremely good. From Eli. Stealing my music again, Vinny? All thieves must be tossed. Very accurate depiction of Ringo because his ears are getting very long these days. And I like the, the bobby pin in his other in his right ear. Sorry, left ear. The safety pin. That's amazing. From Aka aka Tharia or Akatharia. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's nice work. That is my stupid face. You know, I, I, th that picture, I'll never be able to replicate that picture because I just don't look like that. <laughs> but there you go. There you go. But, um, no, I mean, you know, this is art of a picture of me, but it's a good version of it. Looks great. This one's from Mr. Fast Zombie and it's a BRB. Users scoot scum BRB info. Nice. It's animated. There, there you go. God, I can't. I gotta stop saying that. But it is animated. Nice work. That's a really, really nice touch. This one's from Doom Pop and ooh, ooh. Shit. Incineroar. The people's elbow. Absolutely brutal. DLC is going to be great for Smash Ultimate, though, so I'd say don't lose hope. Uh, you think about all the characters that are possible for DLC for the $5.99 per character. Think about it. Goomba. Dry Bones. Goomba with a hat. Shy Guy. Koopa. Paracoopa. That's even too many. That's even too many. You can just do. Really, you, you can you can get anything you want in there. Um, I, Fortnite, uh, default. Whatever you want. Anyway, nice work, Alina D. More stooms with stooms. Ex excuse me. Extooms me. Shrooms. With um. Big old stalks and stems. Here's one from Beach Raptor. And actually based on a picture of me. True. True story. And finally. From Wear Whiskey. It's a surprise. Another piece of art for Stranded. This time something a bit more symbolic. Radio tower sending out signals into space. Tiny little person at the base. Show the vastness and loneliness of it all. Cool. Well, I think that's a great way to end. And also... Um, as a fan of stars and galaxies, I like the Galaxy song by Monty Python.
I mean, this is great. So thank you. That's the art segment. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for contributing art and uh, and for watching the battles. You know, eventually I'm going to start um, and I'm going to stream other games that aren't just, you know, new. Like at some point I'm probably going to want to do some other other games that I can complete in a couple days or maybe even over a couple weeks. Stuff with, um, you know, like a story. Maybe stuff from my youth or your youth. But for now, I'm just inundated with so many things that I would like to play. And it's making it hard to uh, want to start something like new or, or rather classic. So for the time being, I'm going to keep it Red Dead, a little bit of Soul Calibur on the side here and there. And I think next week I might try to do something a little different, uh, start something, something else, but nothing too, like not another like 30, 40 hour long game. And, um, yeah, maybe a randomizer stream at some point. And remember sometime around December, see, I now have nostalgia for earthbound and streaming it in the winter. So I have nostalgia for when I played earthbound and the snow was actually on the ground. And so mother three is going to happen around the same time. Does anyone know exactly when I streamed Earthbound? Was it like Christmas Day? Was it before Christmas? Was it after Christmas? When was that? It was New Year's? It was New Year's Eve? Really? Huh. Well, then I'll certainly consider that for um, Mother 3. 2027 exactly Pooba. you got it it's uh yeah new december 2027 is when mother three will be streamed so you know you can just look forward to that and um see you then about it no but really thank you everybody i'll see you soon have a good night tomorrow some red dead maybe fallout maybe not probably not and also check out the other streamers if you want to watch some streams you you have um Dyer and Fred and Vinny, who's live now for only a couple more minutes, but I wouldn't worry about him too much. You know, throw him a follow if you want. And uh, my mods do a lot of work, and, and they're very, very good. Good lads. So maybe check out one of their streams too. And you can always wait here for the auto host, which will take you to them. So do that if you want. This is now some secret information for the next character reveal in Smash Brothers. You ready? No. <laughs> Good night.